Hi everyone. So in today's video, um, I'm going to be talking about our new puppy, Doug. Um, we just got him today. He's eight weeks old tomorrow. And um, I unfortunately didn't film us going to get him just because we were in a bit of a hurry today. But I did get a few photos here and there um, on the way there, on the way back, and also at the breeder's house. I did get a few photos of him and his brothers and sisters, as well as his um, mummy and his aunts that he had there. Um, so for starters, um, so what happened was we were originally going to go there for 1 p.m. and um, the breeder actually contacted us early in the morning and said could you come a little earlier about 11:30 or so around that time so we ended up um, getting up a little earlier and it was a two-hour drive so we drove there and made it there for 12 in the afternoon which was pretty good it, it was nice because we were um, able to get him an hour earlier which was nice because we were patiently waiting for five weeks to get him. Um, it was smooth driving on the way there. Unfortunately, on the way back home, we did hit a construction zone and we were in traffic for about 30 minutes. And then that kind of sucked because we did want to get him home. And um, But eventually we got through the traffic and it was good from there. So yeah, basically, um, we have always wanted to get a puppy. Um, we talked about either a German Shepherd, a Husky, or a Pug, and we just thought that if we're going to go for any puppy at all right now, our best option would be a Pug, simply because they are a smaller dog. and. Um, we are currently looking into buying a home, but right now we don't have a house, so we didn't want to bring in a super big dog into um, an apartment, basically. We just felt like if we're going to get a big dog, um, we just want to make sure he has tons of room and a nice big yard and all those type of things, whereas with... Um, a pug they they're so small and we just feel like you know they have tons of room um, in my opinion so we decided to go with the pug also um, my parents also have a pug so we thought that was a good opportunity for them to be friends so yeah um, I ended up looking online on Kijiji actually and um, there was tons of ads up for pugs but I did notice that a lot of them were um, not purebred pugs. There were some that were like looked like mixed with maybe a Chihuahua breed and everything else. So we were definitely cautious with who we were speaking with, and you know you can just tell when people post ads. Usually, um, when they put a lot of effort into their descriptions and. You know, they tell you you can come meet the parents um, on site once you go there. That's usually how you can tell that, okay, this is legitimate. Whereas there's some others I've seen on there that wouldn't show photos of the parents. So that was also a red flag. So luckily we found someone that was really nice. She was um, a woman, does breeding with her husband. And basically they've been doing it for years. They have a friend that's actually a vet, so I knew as soon as I spoke with her, she was very, very nice. Um, she let me pick which puppy I wanted. I told her I'd like a male and preferably a fawn color, and so that's what we went with. There was two boys in the litter, and I'm not sure how many girls, but the two boys were fawn, and the other girls were all black, except for one was... I think it was called a reverse fawn where it's like um, a fawn pug but like tons of black sort of spots 
along the fur, but it looked really he looked really cute. Um, like you don't see that often, so that was nice. Um, but yeah, so we chose him, and basically we got there, and right away, he was very welcoming. Um, as soon as we came to the door, she said, come on in, went right in the house. She introduced us one by one to the mum and the aunts, which was two other female um, adult pugs she had there. So he also kind of looked up to them like a mom as well because she had told us that he would actually try to get milk from the other pugs so they let him do that so i thought that was nice also um that they had that close bond and um basically so leading up to the the whole five weeks of waiting to get him um she kept me updated, I want to say, if not every single day, it was at least every other day. I got a message from her with um, updated photos of him and uh, just telling me, oh, you know, he went to the vet and everything was great and the people loved him and she was really nice. I actually wasn't expecting that um, at all. So for her to like message me like that every day, let me know how he's doing and that kind of stuff it just made me more and more excited every day knowing that like like this is real like we're gonna go and get him so it was it just it was something I could look forward to every morning when I woke up just to automatically think about Doug and then I would get a nice photo of him and it just it just made me so happy so um yeah so basically we got in there we met all the puppies and all that kind of stuff and talked to her for about an hour and she was just a really really nice lady um so I'm really really happy and very fortunate to have met her um out of everybody she was like the best I could have ever even imagined that it would uh it would be so anyway basically um she gave us um a big care package when we got Doug and I couldn't believe it because um, she did tell me when I first inquired about him she did tell me that like she'd be throwing in like some food and treats and like a toy and whatever and I said you know thank you because I said like you know not all breeders do that which is fine it's not like they have to it's just I thought it was a really nice gesture of her to do that for us so we get in there and she literally hands me this giant container full of stuff. And I honestly could not even believe that she did that because you just don't see that every day. So basically what she gave us was all of his paperwork from the vet. He's already been um, dewormed and he's had his shots. But she did give us a couple of extra pills just to be safe in case we did spot any um, worms in his poop. So we have all of his um, vet records here and she said we can go on and take this to our vet in our area. And she gave us a pack of puppy pads which they're open because I've already started using them. But she gave us a pack of these. Um, she also gave us an entire bag of science diet um, puppy food. So she gave us this huge bag and this puppy food is apparently amazing. I don't know a whole lot about um, dog foods and that kind of stuff, um, but from what I understand this is apparently one of the best brands that you can get. Um, there's a lot of other brands that have had, um, like, recalls a lot and that kind of stuff. So, apparently, this specific brand actually tests the food and everything before they put it out onto the shelves in the stores. Um, and there's a whole bunch of information on this, um, but basically, it's a very, very, very highly recommended, um, food brand and with pugs because very easy to become overweight 
So it's always good to watch what they're eating. Apparently grain free isn't any good as for them as well. Um, I learned a whole bunch of stuff today um, about like heart disease and that kind of stuff. But anyway, she gave us this entire bag of food, which I thought was very, very nice because like I said, not everyone does that. So that was awesome because I had naturally planned to just go to the store and just buy tons of, you know, treats and bag of food. And then she said, I already have this for you. So I thought that was really nice. Um, then she gave us this toy. It's called Top Paw Play Toy. And apparently it's, a, it's in the Silly Sounds collection. Um, so just this little toy here. And it says, live, love, um, compost. It's this little raccoon. A little bag. And this part crinkles. This part squeaks. Like that. And I uh, thought that was adorable. She also gave us <clears throat> this little squeaky guy here. He was in a package, but we already opened him up. So thought that was adorable too. Um, she gave us this little um, chew toy, but you can also put a treat in here and then they can play with that for a while. There's also um, earth rated eco-friendly bags. It's like a little holder with um, poo bags for him. She also gave us his baby blankie that has um, his mom's scent and all the other puppies smell on here still. <laughs> um, so basically she said just to keep this with him, let him sleep with it and that kind of stuff um, for at least the first week. She said don't wash it or nothing, just keep the scent on there so that's what we're going to do very very soft and we have the hills diet which is the same brand here of the food um, soft bake bits and I believe it's in the flavor duck and pumpkin and they're basically these little chewy treat bones and he loves them so that's good and they're apparently a really really good brand as I said before so I feel nice when I, you know, feel good about giving them to him and that kind of thing because like I said, pugs can become overweight pretty easily, so. Then she also threw in um, a nice photo of him. I'm not sure the light might it'll be a glare. So there's this nice photo of him here and her friend was actually a photographer and so she was able to take photos of him. She put it in a frame for us, which I thought was like really, really nice. I wasn't expecting that at all. Plus, she threw in a few extra photos. And I'll just quickly show you them if I can. There's that one. That one. That one, you make a little uh, stroller looking thing. Yep. And then that one. And that one. And I thought that was absolutely adorable. So I'm going to get these put into a frame and on my wall. So yeah, and then basically this little bin here. That we can also keep just to store his stuff in, which is nice. Besides that, um, I do have a few items that we got for him before we picked him up today. So I got him this nice big soft blankie that he was just laying on a few minutes ago actually. It's really nice. Soft. I got him another little baby blankie here. And there's a few more that I have up there um, in the dryer right now. Um, 
We also have this little shirt for him to wear once he gets a bit bigger. It says Daddy's Boy. We have this little sweater here. I think it's like a racing sweater or something. We have this little red coat for him to wear. And um, I also hand knit um, puppy sweaters. So I'm going to be making him a sweater very soon with my yarn, um, my blue yarn. Um, and if you'd like, I could show you a separate video on how I make those, but, um, I'm definitely going to be making some of those up for him as well. We also got him these little shoes called Pugs. And they're like these little mini boots. He's definitely not going to fit in them yet, but they're here for when he starts to get a bit older and then we also got this giant box of puppy pads there's a hundred of them in there um, I can't remember how much I paid for this box but I know that um, it was a very very good price especially for the amount they put in here and I also have a container which I'm going to grab right now actually okay so I totally forgot to bring this in the video, so I just went and grabbed it. This is like a big container that my mom got for me. It says dog food for good dogs. And this is from um, HomeSense, I believe. Yeah, it's from HomeSense. Um, and uh, it's basically just this big container, and there's a little scoop in there. And it's also on wheels. There's actually some of my craft stuff in here right now, so this is going to be emptied. But... It's on wheels, so it's a really nice little container. And, um, yeah, it says here it was $30 from HomeSense. Compare at $50. And, um, for now, that's everything. I do have something else, um, coming in the mail for him that I will be sharing, hopefully, within the next few days. It's, well, I ordered it three business days ago. And it typically takes two to seven days. So I'm crossing my fingers it comes in this week because I would like to share it with you guys. And also, um, I made something for him the other day that I just have to wait a little bit longer on to dry. It should be ready by tomorrow. And then I'm going to be doing a separate video on that of what I made for him. Um, I just don't want to give it away yet because I would just like it to be complete and um, looking how it's supposed to. And um, I guess the last thing to do is to show you my pug. Because <laughs> obviously that's what you guys have been waiting here for. <laughs> so um, I was going to actually have him on my lap during this whole video, but he was having a nap and I felt really bad. But now he's awake chewing on his toy, and actually this is the first time I've seen him play with this. So, that's a good thing. Now I'm going to introduce you to Doug the Pug. I can reach him without my headset falling out. This is little Doug. <laughs> so, tomorrow he's eight weeks old. He's, uh, he's a little baby, <laughs> clearly, as you can tell. He has, um, puppy breath, which I find it adorable, but, um, he's a huge suck. He loves giving kisses. He definitely likes to cling on to, you, like, your chest. Um, he just likes being really close to you, and, um, yeah, he's very, very affectionate, and so far... He's doing great. I am earlier. He might have been a little bit homesick, um, which is natural. But earlier, he had lots of food and water, and he went pee and poop on his puppy pad, which I thought was amazing because um, I thought there was going to have to be a little bit of training on that, and just, he just knew. So I'm pretty sure that the breeder was already introducing him to all that kind of stuff and he's a really smart little guy because 
he just knew to go on the pad so I thought that was awesome so within the next few weeks we're going to be training him and teaching him all kinds of stuff and um, like to go outside obviously and taking him for walks and that kind of stuff so we're going to be definitely posting a lot more videos on how um, he's doing and all that kind of stuff so that was everything um, if you guys have any questions at all please feel free to comment below and if you like Mr. Doug the Pug um, please like and subscribe. Thank you.